I'm back, and so is Zer for week 49, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Rickless here. Welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, I have been gone for a very long time, almost been a month, but I will let you guys know what the reason for that is right after this video. So, let's actually get into Zer. So, Zer is located on IO by the giant scar. So, we're going to mark him and find out what he has this week. Zer! What's up, dude? I'm going to do a little fishing real quick. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? I have a message for you from the Nine. But. We got a fish! That's for you, Zer. You need that later. May we speak? So, like always, we're going to start with the left hand side. We have the weapon of the week, which is Sunshot. Then we have Orpheus Riggs for the Hunters, really? Then we have Lion Rampart for the Titans, and last but not least, Karnstein Armless for the Warlock. We are going to go ahead and start with Sunshot, which is an exotic hand cannon that does solar damage. Uh, and charge of perk on this is Explosive Rounds, Highlights Targets. Pretty simple. Then we have Chamber Compensator, Accurized Rounds, Sunblast, which targets kill with Sunshot explode in solar energy. Then we have Textured Grip. And the catalyst for this is this weapon will also gain a tracker that displays the number of enemies defeated by using it. Pretty cool. Uh, this actually comes with two ornaments. One is the Red Dwarf and the other is the Quark Star. And no, you do not get these ornaments just by purchasing Sunshot. So, as of the current state of the meta, I'm probably going to rate this a tier 2.5 to tier 3 in PvE as well as a tier 3.5 to tier 4 in PvP. Sunshot's not really not that good, but I do feel that it will be a lot better when Forsaken is released, because there's going to be a lot of sandbox changes, so go ahead and grab that. Next, we have the Orpheus Rig. And treasure perk on this is Uncanny Arrows, or Uncanny Arrows, sorry, which provides ability energy for each enemy tethered by Sunshot Anchors. <laughs> Sorry, by Shadow Shot Anchors. Anyways, if you do not have this, this is a great 100% tier 1 exotic for PvE, but it is not that good in PvP unless you are doing something like Mayhem, and there are a lot of enemies or any type of game mode that allows um, at least a 6v6. Next exotic we're going over is the Lion Rampart. For the Titan, which gives you jump jets, which provides additional aerial maneuverability and enables accurate hip fire while in the air during lift. So, if you want that wonderful feeling that you used to get in D1, but when you're in the air, when you're able to move around easily, Lion Rampart is definitely your choice. I would say this is better in PvP than PvE, because killing things in PvE really isn't that hard. So, this is going to get a tier... Probably tier 2.5 in PvE, but definitely a tier 2 in PvP. Last but not least, we have your Karnstein Armlets, which in terms of perk is Vampire's Caress. And this is for the Warlock, and this gives you uh, melee kills, instantly restore a large amount of health, and continue to restore health towards, uh, afterwards, sorry, for a short duration. If you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab these. These things are amazing again in PvP. Um, oh my god, it, it's pretty good. So go ahead and grab these. This is probably a tier 2 in PvE and PvP. Last but not least, we have your consumables. We have your 3 of coins as well as uh, 5 of swords. And then we have your wonderful Faded Engram. If you do not have one of these, go ahead and buy one of these first before you buy your Faded Engram because you do have a chance to grab one of these. So, for, as for the reason that I've been gone for so long, it has been a lot of IRL stuff. However, also, there has been a lot of grinding going on for me in Destiny 2. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So, when the Solstice of Heroes actually came out, there was a lot of grind and I had to go ahead and grab this ship. The Estival Excursion. This is the ship that you get after grinding each and every character, I'm sorry, each and every subclass, that is Titan, Warlock, and Hunter, and getting their um, purple gear, which is their legendary gear, and it wasn't an easy process. It was very, very long and tiresome, and believe me, 
there were plenty of times where I wanted to quit. However, I didn't, and I went ahead and started grinding, and I eventually got the Estival Excursion ship, which is an exotic ship. However, that is not the only grind that was done. The more important grind, which is the one that most people are trying to still do before the end of the month, is the grind for this Betty right here. This thing right here. Oh, sorry. This thing right here. The Redrix Claymore. Yes, I have a Redrix. Yes, I grinded my ass for it. And you know what? I don't care if there's going to be a companion to the Redrix Claymore when Forsaken comes out. I did what thousands, hundreds of thousands of people could not. To this date, there's probably maybe 10,000 people out of the millions that play Destiny 2 that have this gun. So being one of them is actually an accomplishment and it's something that could be appreciated as well. So, for those who don't know, the Regis Claymore is a high impact frame and it does come with chambered compensator, corkscrew rifling, polygon rifling, Outlaw as well as Desperado. Now, I grinded for this. I didn't pay somebody to actually do my account for me. But anyways, this grind took a very, very long time. But it is possible. It really is. And if I can do it, and I'm such a low KD, I have like a 1.8, then I know you can. There's still time, and I grinded this thing out for five days. So, I'm pretty sure you guys could too. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.